Greetings fellow thrill seekers, before we dive into the abyss of terror, be sure to subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of chills. Welcome to our realm where reality intertwines with the uncanny, where your deepest fears come to life. Today, we bring you a chilling tale, ripped straight from the annals of real events. A story so terrifying, it blurs the line between nightmare and reality. Now, brace yourselves as we delve into the darkness of this terrifying true tale. Our story begins on an ordinary day with an ordinary family in an ordinary town but as we know, horror often lurks in the most ordinary places. Meet the Johnsons, a picture of suburban bliss. Father, mother, two kids and a dog, the quintessential American family. Their town, Maplewood was the kind of place where everyone knew everyone. And the most exciting event of the year was the annual bake sale. It was a backdrop of tranquility, of normalcy, a place where you'd least expect a tale of terror to unfold. The Johnsons were just like any other family in Maplewood. They laughed, they argued, they had Sunday dinners and movie nights, their lives were filled with school runs and soccer practices, grocery shopping and neighborhood barbecues. It was a life as ordinary as it gets. But as we've seen time and again, the ordinary can sometimes mask the extraordinary. And the Johnsons were about to discover this in the most horrifying way. Little did they know their ordinary life was about to take an extraordinary turn. As days turned into weeks the family began to notice strange occurrences that defied explanation. In the heart of their once idyllic home, a chill began to creep in. A coldness that seemed to seep into the very bones of the house, turning the warm and inviting atmosphere into a shell of its former self. The once lively rooms were now cloaked in an eerie silence, punctuated only by the unsettling creaks and groans of the old structure. Every night, as darkness fell, the familiar sounds of the house settling for the evening were replaced by something far more sinister. The soft whispers of the wind through the trees morphed into low, mournful howls, as if the house itself was crying out in fear. Objects began to move on their own accord. A book would fall off a shelf, a chair would shift from its place, a picture frame would tilt to one side. It was as if an unseen hand was playing a cruel game, toying with the family's sense of reality. There were nights when the family would be awoken by the unexplainable sound of footsteps echoing through the empty halls. On other nights, they would hear the soft, distant laughter of a child, a sound that would send shivers down their spines. The once comforting smell of the old house was now replaced by an occasional whiff of something rotten, something decayed. It was a smell that clung to the air, a sickly sweet scent that would make your stomach churn. Day by day the family's unease grew into dread. Their home, a place that once symbolized safety and love, was now a source of fear and apprehension. The laughter and cheer that once echoed through the halls were now replaced by a deafening silence, a silence that seemed to whisper tales of the unknown. Each day was a battle against the unseen, a struggle to maintain a sense of normalcy amidst the inexplicable. The once peaceful home had now become a playground for the unknown. The terror reached its peak, with the family living in a constant state of fear and confusion. Imagine this. The once warm and loving home was now a playground for the inexplicable and the terrifying. The once mundane routine of life was now punctuated with moments that made the blood run cold. The family found themselves in the grip of something they couldn't understand, let alone control. The days were filled with eerie phenomena that seemed to defy logic. Doors would slam shut on their own with no wind or person to blame. The chilling sound of whispers would echo through the hallways only to cease as soon as they were investigated. An icy touch would be felt on the back of your neck, sending shivers down your spine but, when you turned around there was nothing, just an empty room. The nights were even worse. The darkness seemed to hold an ominous weight pressing in from all sides. The family would wake up in the middle of the night to the sound of heavy footsteps thudding down the hallway, only to find no one there. The children's toys would inexplicably move on their own, casting eerie shadows on the walls that danced in the faint moonlight. The family's reactions were a cocktail of fear, disbelief and desperation. They tried to rationalize the occurrences, attributing them to natural causes or tricks of the mind. They clung to their routines, trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy amidst the chaos. But as the incidents grew more frequent and more terrifying, their efforts proved futile. The mother would often find herself frozen in fear, her heart pounding in her chest. The father would stay awake through the night, his eyes wide and alert, ready to protect his family. 
The children would huddle together, their innocent eyes filled with terror, their small hands clutching each other tightly. In the face of such overwhelming horror, they decided it was time to seek help. With a heavy heart and a desperate hope for a return to normalcy, the family reached out for help. They turned to a renowned paranormal expert, a beacon of hope in their darkest hours. Armed with years of experience and an unwavering resolve, the expert arrived to cleanse the house of its spectral inhabitants. The process was intense, a battle of wills between the living and the departed. Rituals were performed, prayers were said, and spiritual entities were confronted. The air grew heavy with a tension that could be cut with a knife. Yet, amid the fear and uncertainty, the family held on to the hope of reclaiming their home from the eerie presence that had been haunting them. Despite their efforts there was no guarantee of success. The paranormal expert warned them that some spirits are stubborn, reluctant to leave their chosen dwelling. But something had changed. The oppressive atmosphere that once filled the house started to lift. The family could finally breathe, the sense of dread that once hung in the air was replaced with an almost tangible sense of relief. However the haunting was not completely eradicated. Occasional whispers in the dark, a fleeting shadow at the corner of one's eye, these were the remnants of their spectral tenant. The family had learned to live with it, accepting it as part of their reality. And so ends our tale of terror, a chilling reminder that sometimes, reality can be stranger and more terrifying than fiction. The echoes of this real-life horror story continue to chill those who dare to listen. We've journeyed through the unsettling beginning, the creeping terror, the height of horror, and the unnerving conclusion. It's a tale that reminds us of the darker corners of existence. We invite you to share your thoughts or any similar experiences in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey. Remember to subscribe for more spine-tingling tales. And until next time be careful for you never know what lurks in the shadows.